Announce your memberships. I am now offering memberships through YouTube. Point out the new join button. I'd like to take this time to point out the new join button. Hey there, Papper people. It is I, Jason. Welcome to my channel, The Lanky Lefty 27. You know, whenever I have that bed background, you know I'm not screwing around. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that is super near and dear to my heart. Guys, I have a little confession to make. I'm a little bit leaky sometimes. Some have called me the leaky lefty. It's embarrassing, stop. With CPAP therapy or bi-level therapy, there's really only two variables that are important at all. One is your mask pressure. So what is the pressure that's being used to inflate your upper airway? So if we pretend like this is your throat, this is a cross section of your throat and you're having apneas, that's what PAP therapy is supposed to do. It opens up your airway. So let's say this is your therapeutic level of pressure or maybe you're underinflated. you're here, you're still having some obstruction and it's still waking you up, but then they add more pressure and like, you know, this is perfect and you sleep great all throughout the night. That's just one variable. There's one more variable and that is leak. Now you can have a mask leak or a mouth leak. So for this video, I'm really only talking to people that are able to have a mouth leak. So everyone that uses a full face mask, this really doesn't apply to you at all. If you're using a nasal pillow mask or a nasal mask, anything that just covers up your nose or your nose holes, I'm talking to you. So let me show you exactly what this looks like. So we're using the same analogy. Your pressure's perfect. All of a sudden you have a mouth leak. Now that opens up the circuit. We're trying to keep everything closed up. And if you introduce a leak out of your mouth, that's excessive. The machine can't catch up to it and your perfect pressure all of a sudden is depressurized and that can wake you up. The other thing that can wake you up is the <laughs> that for mouth leaking. If I don't do something to remedy that for myself, I wake up constantly with mouth popping open. I feel like crap in the morning. It's almost as if I didn't wear CPAP at all because the mouth leaking is so severe at times, especially I believe when I'm going into REM sleep. Uh, that's when your jaw naturally relaxes and your mouth is gonna open uh, much more easily. So let me show you a demonstration of what that looks like. It may ring true for you and you'll know, ah, I do have that problem. So I'm using this with 20 centimeters of water. And do you hear this sound? Not that sound, but this one. I'm trying to let, relax and let it happen naturally. Okay, I don't use 20 centimeters of water. I use eight or nine, but I just want it to be much more pronounced. So you could see that. Some of you may hear that sound. Some of you may wake up with a dry mouth in the morning. I know if I have mouth leaking all night, I certainly wake up with a really dry mouth. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. It's just dry, like bone dry. Oftentimes I'll only use it for two hours or two and a half hours, like at the most, if I have that going on. Um, it's just, uh, it's unconscious. I just take the mask off and I wake up, it's on the floor and I look at the data and I see all the leaks. And at that point I'm like, why didn't I do something to fix the problem? Well, I found another solution. This is another bullet in the chamber of methods you can use to try to fix mouth leaking, or maybe you've never even tried. Uh, but this is another method you could try that's super cheap. Okay, so I have been using this cover roll stretch tape. It's awesome. Listen, please, I beg you to watch the rest of this video at this point. A lot of this is extremely important. I'll try to go as quickly as I can. Okay, so to use this, I'm gonna show you the wrong thing to do first, um, although this part applies. So you wanna make sure you cover up the corners of your mouth and then like a centimeter past. So, don't run with scissors. That's my public announcement. Okay, so I've cut the tape, all right? The first few nights I did it, everything was fine. I didn't have any problems. I just took this tape, pursed my lips together, sealed it up, slept like a champ. After about a week of that, uh, one night the power went out, and at that point, um, I was scrambling to get it off. The problem in hindsight, which is really funny, at the time it was terrifying and I thought I was gonna die. I was kind of laying on my side slash stomach, so both of my arms were numb. Power goes out, I panicked. I needed to breathe fast. I thought someone was choking me because obviously apnea resumes when the power goes out. I was ripping up. I was trying to get this off, except my, my hands and arm are numb. So I'm slapping at it. I'm trying to rip at this corner because it's on there pretty tight. I couldn't get it off. I eventually got it off, but uh, scared the absolute hell out of me. So here is how you remedy that. This is still extremely effective. Uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the tape. We're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna cut a little slit that's basically gonna meet right where my lips meet. So, doesn't have to be all that big. In fact, you want it to be semi-small and you are going to, in a panic, in a pinch, be able to breathe out of that. So now if I fold this, you can kind of see there's a hole there. The next thing we're gonna do, which is super important, is we're gonna dog ear it. And I would say be very careful with this because I've ruined plenty of tape doing this. 
So I've exposed the back of it, and I'm just gonna fold over a little tiny piece, just enough that I can grab onto. So you can see I folded it over, it's all wonky. It just gives me a spot to reach up and grab it and pull it away. So now I'm gonna do the same test with 20 centimeters of water after applying this. So I peeled off the backing. Next thing I do is I purse my lips together, try to line up the hole with my lips. So it's plenty that I can breathe out of and I can talk out of it. This tape is very grabby uh, and it does a good job keeping my mouth closed. <laughs> Oh no, how do I get it off? So the power just goes out. I can still breathe just fine, and in the morning I can reach up, grab this, and peel it off. You can see it's really not, I mean, it, it, it's very sticky, but yet it's not too sticky. So Cover Roll is a product that we actually use in the sleep lab. We use it for electrode attachment. It's skin friendly, it's extremely flexible. It's sticky enough that it sticks all night, but yet it doesn't like leave that adhesive where it really grabs on and like rips off your skin in the morning. Obviously, it's something you're going to want to test before you use it if you're someone with sensitive skin or an adhesive allergy. What I really like about it is one, it's extremely cheap and the coverage that it gets over your mouth. It really does a good job covering up a huge area. Um, so no, even if a little corner peels up, you're still not gonna have leakage out of it. I've had exceptional results with that. So if you want to purchase that, a great place to go is I set up an Amazon, an Amazon influencer store. Check the description box down below. In there I have several categories. One is mask and mouth leaking solutions. I have it in there. So I found the best deal on Amazon that I could find. It's actually a two pack. So they're these little two by, two inches by um, 10 yard rolls. Um, as of right now, I'm about a month and a half, two months, it's, it's been a while, uh, into this one roll and I'm still not really all that, that far done. Um, I have, keep in mind, I haven't been doing it every night though. I've been trying other things out with and without to try to make sure that it's in fact the thing that's working and it is. As well as I've, I've been using full face masks on some of the nights so it's really not appropriate to use that. Again, just for nasal nasal pillow masks. At this point, I wanna thank a lot of people. Um, people who donate on PayPal, uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, you guys are unsung uh, in that there's really not an easy way for me to say thank you, so I'm gonna do it now. Thank you very much for your support. Um, people on Patreon who support me there, I really appreciate your monthly support. Um, we have the new YouTube membership people. I wanna thank you guys, I think there's four of you at this point. Um, thank you very much, I appreciate that. And even people that buy MassBright and people that use my uh, AXG pap therapy analysis, that's another point I wanted to mention on this. On my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com, there's a lot of people that I do pap therapy analysis with and they're on the correct pressure or they're at least on a pressure that's pretty close. But what we notice is there's a lot of people that have mouth leaking or mask leaking and that really is a huge issue. So before you give up on CPAP, um, maybe try one of these methods. If you want me to take a look at it, I'm more than happy to do so, but that's axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Then I also have um, another one where it's more or less just a phone call and we discuss some of the possible problems and some solutions to those problems. So at this point, I'm gonna say thank you for watching the video. Please like the video if it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet at this time. And leave a comment for me down below. Uh, is there something that you do to fix mouth leaking or do you feel like you might have a mouth leaking that needs to be fixed? Do you have other solutions for mouth leaking issues? Did you hate the video or like the video? I'm really curious to hear why or why not. And I'd like to say thank you for watching and please check out one of these other videos that I have available for your enjoyment. Thank you, bye. No matter how much pain I'm in, no matter how hard I try to run from the truth, I am still a thick boy. Stick it out, even white boys got the shout. Baby got back. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters and a low level. Thanks buddy to Alan Liu, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy.